And Harry Potter defeated? No, not by a dark wizard, but a high school student and her vampire boyfriend. From ABC News headquarters in New York, this is World News. At the end of the broadcast, the blockbuster book about the high school romance between a typical American girl and a vampire. Move over, Harry Potter. This is World News. Brought to you by CVS Pharmacy. Finally tonight, the new book that's showing maybe Harry Potter isn't invincible after all. While the seventh and final installment of the Boy Wizard's Adventures shattered sales records this summer, there's suddenly some very big competition that's pushing Potter off the top of bestseller lists. Here's ABC's Eric Hong. With Harry Potter hanging up his broomstick, a new story has young readers hooked. I love it. Eclipse is Stephanie Meyer's third and latest book about the adventures of Edward and Bella, two star-crossed lovers whose devoted online following has now gone mainstream. She's sweet, smart, and popular. He's a bloodthirsty vampire. Throw in some werewolves, a few near-death experiences, and you've got a page-turner. The characters are, are just really deep, and they're, they're really something that people can see themselves in. Much like J.K. Rowling's Rags to Riches story, Meyer's life took a fairy tale turn. Four years ago, she was a stay-at-home mom with no writing experience. One night, she dreamt about a vampire confessing his love to a girl. It was a very sweet, kind of tender moment, but there was this dark side to it because he was also admitting how much he had wanted to kill her from the first day he met her. That dream would eventually become Chapter 13 in her first bestseller, Twilight. Meyer's themes are admittedly dark, but she says the books are about life, not death. Love, not lust. My books are all completely coward-proof. If you're frightened, you can still read them. Meyer has sold more than a million and a half copies and is writing at least two more novels. The new Harry Potter? I don't think that Harry Potter needs to feel threatened. Still, this underdog love story and its Cinderella author have many saying, Harry who? Eric Hong, ABC News, Chicago. Vampires need love, too. That is World News for this Sunday. I'm John Berman. For all of us at ABC News, thanks for watching. Good night.